Hello. Welcome aboard. I'm glad that this one just works right off the bat. I'm very glad for that. Welcome, welcome to Bug Snacks, one of the games that I found quite randomly, and it just looked too cute for me to ignore. Now, uh, disclaimer, I have already played it through, and my wife was there to see. Hello. Yeah, she's there in the background. And she should be in the spotlight, but, you know, oh, my wife will do as she will. Anyway. I'm not going to talk too terribly much about the experience. We're just going to go in and get into it. And good, there is multiple save slots, so I don't need to throw away my progress. We can do things comfortably here. But, we are going to go with a bit of ambition here. We're going to go with completing the whole main story all in one stream. I'm sure I can manage that. It's not too terribly long a game anyway, especially if you know what you're doing. Sir, was that necessary? Hmm? Do you remember the intro to this game, baby? Yes. It's really pretty. So yeah, that's what the stream is going to be, me just aggressively scanning everything. Did my fur change color? My last save I was orange, but now it looks like I'm yellow. Is it randomized? Uh, the last time it was orange, this time it's more of a yellow. At the beginning, this is, from what I remember, this is what it looked like. Casual concussion on a Tuesday night. You know, land face first on some rocks. Are we rolling? <clears throat> Greetings! I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures. And she's a real charmer. <laughs> Eggabel, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. So yes, we're opening up with lesbians. I'm Congratulations. And I have made an incredible discovery here on Snacktooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. Huh? Oh. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks. They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. <gasps> There's one now. I got it. I got it. Ugh. Ouch. Good effort, Bilbo. As for you, I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work. The Shadow of Grumpfoot, The Secret of Soylent Grump, Stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truth. And also like me, few truly recognize your talent. You are just the grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together, you and I will share the incredible tale of Bug Snack. Also, yes, that was a personal invitation, is what it was. Bless you. Wow, that's 
What's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any Please excuse me, I'm very itchy. Trouble you've caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic! Remember that whole mess with Grump Lantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. And why don't you believe in bug snacks? Because I've got a working brain. About that. And what's wrong with snacky Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. And what do you know about her? She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. Well, I'm this going anyway. Absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, it is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbert herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Well, about that last part. Strabby. <laughs> Also, yeah, I'm yellow this time, not orange. So it looks like it is randomized. Huh? I don't think so, because I could have sworn that's just the color you were before. I remember you being that color. Well, last time I was a deeper, more rich shade of orange, like a whole tangerine. This is more like a lemon. It's just slightly overripe. Lisbert? Is that you? Mm. Oh. Hey, Grump, you're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. <laughs> what? Who are you? What? It's me, Philbo. I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and I couldn't catch any bug snacks. That's... What? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Wait, you're not Lisbert. Do you need glasses or something? It doesn't matter who you are. Please get me something to eat. Uh huh. He said the man was an epitome of delusions. Not are we just look so much like this bird. Hmm. Hooray! Ow. Um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? Find out which one it is for me. <laughs> Oh, oh, good. That that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, uh, if you aren't me anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor and take my snack trap. Just snatch. <laughs> His tracks come out of this bush. All right, let's hide behind this rock. Gotcha. Wow, you got it. Okay, now toss it into my mouth hole. As opposed to which hole? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I'm saved. <laughs> Strawberry arm. Yes. Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks. I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. <laughs> and clearly you're not good at either. Hi, Lalo. Oh, 
Because for reasons that will become obvious later, I would like to keep the Ah give that back. That's mine. For reasons that will become later, I would like to keep the snacks I catch for this one homogenous, so here we are. Alright, never mind. Change my mind. I'm sure there's something around here that, be, that can be caught, other than that lolive. Uh, I guess we're doing two riddle. I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Bilbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? So to join. Oh, you got the film. I helped Lisbert make that. I know who you are. You're the journalist. I knew it was stupid to ask. Lisbert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> hey, buddy. I have to tell you something. Okay. I'm supposed to take you home, but Lisbert might not be there. Okay. And I don't know where, where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. Mm -hmm. but who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Ready to go, buddy? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Through here. Yeah. Hello. The farm. <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. 
That's nice. Don't you want to come with? No. Well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbeth around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. Well, uh, it's nothing. better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave. Bunger? Bunger, 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 bunger. Ah! Whoa! Darn Bunger! Get out of here! Ooh. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This Bunger goes. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my soft slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the Bunger over yonder. <laughs> I swear, Bunger is easily one of my favorite snacks. It's just so cute. Look at him. He's so happy. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. I want beef. You know what I miss? Proper brisket sandwich. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. <laughs> you okay? Uh, uh, don't you worry. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, yeah, I, like you I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. Shishka bugs. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. Look, can you can you not lean in so close and glare at me when when asking me to catch you food? Can you just not do that? That's my boy! That's my boy! <laughs> uh, I want to watch Harry Potter now. <laughs> you and I need to do that one of these days. Just you, me, Harry Potter, wrench. Have to find the right order to watch the movie. 
because after the original Yeah, they have. So what do you think, baby? You, me, go on a date, split him up. <laughs> so cheesy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. She's got a... <gasps> All right. I think that's one of the main ingredients of month. <laughs> ah, that's good eating. All right, last bit of business. Let's get revenge on those bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. <laughs> huh? I've had it before. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then it wouldn't be a supreme. It would be Moftas or something else. It would just be a Mofta. A big supreme is just hitting at the fact that it's just big. I mean, it's a supreme pizza if you look at the toppings. Why well, can I not? Uh, why are we? Why are we broken? You break it? Broke something. All right, just give me one second. Some technical difficulties. We'll be all right. There, made it work. You know, just gradually having conversations with us. Shiskabad. I don't know which one I like out of all of these. I could honestly see you spending a lot of time with the Noodler. dealt with for now but they'll be back eventually well i'm fixing to get my old garden growing again oh you really mean it let's get moving right away you know you're a pretty good hunter like philbo said it's been rough since lisbert vanished been rougher for some than others uh hey i sure could use help with this tree well best not to dwell you hold on, I got this. Y'all just get along now. I'll this, this thing kind of shuts me down. If I don't know how to get out of it. It's on no rush. Be fine. Hey there. Um, I'm like, oh my god, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. I... you... Uh, uh. Like, are you still here? Uh. Zonk off, squeeb! 
So rude for no right reason. O M G. You're that journalist. Yeah, I've been seeing a new face in like forever. Mm -hmm. I'm Bethica Winkle Snoot, Bethica. and I know everything mm -hmm. about everybody. Yeah, well. I don't think anyone does. I think that's kind of her problem. I love your snack scope. You and me are toast twinsies. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. You I misplaced lost it. Your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> I don't want anything that you keep in your cave. Thank you. I have reason to believe you don't even wash thoroughly. What if you tried grabbing her journal first? Huh? What if you tried grabbing her journal first? I'm pretty sure the same dialogue would have come up. <clears throat> Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up. Alright, we got Bug Beta. See all the details about all these things. Nice big old deal. I still don't know how to actually properly catch Lolif. I don't know what I need for it. Computia, everyone else. Scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. Liz, <sighs> such a batch. Let's get this over with, buddy. Yeah, let's go, Strawberry Hands. It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. Without Lisbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh. It's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. Well, here we go then. all dirty and shacked up and blah I'm sorry I guess you're not gonna get that interview with Lisbert just oh, yet hmm. oh, her name was uh, well really we still have you Me? so I mean if you want to um <laughs> ask away I guess I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a deputy mayor. I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. And you well, can't hear why. Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything, and here I am. 
Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? And what are your thoughts on Lisbert then? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. Hmm. She always knew what to do and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. And that's how you became mayor? I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. And what happened? One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. And why didn't it? There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. I couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. I, I think we're done here for now. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbert might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody listened to me, but... But you? You're pretty good at stuff, and... Well, nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. And who should you I look should for? find then? Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, hey, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. See. All right. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> well, you see, the thing is, I don't know if they have any dicks with which to twist, but I mean, it's worth it's worth an inspection. Hey, um, hey, Philbo, I need, I got a question for you. Huh? Just like, why is my safety? Can I not see the message? Yeah. Snacksburg is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. Hello again. You, you are the ignoble journalist. Sadly, Despite you can't your see lack his of personal any character, but skills, you get to see I everyone else you interact assistance. with. Yeah, the most of the, the most of the player character you get to see is sure. like your hands and maybe your feet. The rest of yourself you don't really get to look at. As is extracting useful. feces from the latrine. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance oh, of Agabel. Weird. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. <laughs> Hell yeah. A bit of gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen too terribly much of this game, but there's a lot of food. It's a lot of fun. This yeah, I don't random. watch this. However, I, have I do not, because it's going to make it worse. It's simple he once found you that out when he first mechanisms it. behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> is this that a weenie the snack It looks like it. Feed me strabby. Poke Snactivator in foot. Foot turns into Strabby. Understand? Intriguing. Very good. I will allow you to field test the Snactivator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further. This is the most active I've ever seen someone in science. Also, can you imagine walking away on strawberries and act like nothing's wrong? Yeah, with your own body weight, that's gonna suck. Yeah, just, just go with it. Just go with- Ow. What's that sound? Real. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Linden. Nice to meet you. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Snack Adventure. Okay, yes. Okay, I can say with 100% certainty my fur is a different color than it was the first time. I don't think so. That I is a rich lemon. The other one was tangerine. I really do think you were the same color. Alright, after the stream, we will go back to the save and we will see. Alright, But fine. I'm telling you. Uh, yes, yes, there is a setting with Twitch where you can put it in a mini player, and you should be able to just do that. It's somewhere in the actual, like, app settings. Yeah, I had to figure that out. That's if you're on your browser, I don't think that's possible. Uh, or if it is, I don't know about it. There we go. They got it. All right, cool. Come on, me and just catching wandering food. It is always a really nice feeling when people actually come in and things are around. It's really nice. Snackery. Snackery. I wonder what... I genuinely wonder what snackery is supposed to be. Like, I get that it's supposed to be a daiquiri, but also, like... Everything here typically has an animal tie-in, so what's up? you will about Wiggle. She got pipes, though. She can sing. <laughs> that is song's true. nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. I'm probably gonna well, need to adjust the audio, because damn. Could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Hmm? Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like a date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. Hmm? No! Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Every time I go to sleep around you, I do need to take some time and vanish. actually figure out how all these widgets so work no, and set things up that. properly. But the date's still a maybe. Oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration. Hello. Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. <laughs> I like that they respond in sync. Also, don't forget, guys, if there is anyone in here, there is a suggestion box. If there is a game you want to see them specifically play, or, you know, if there's topics you want them to talk about, pop it in the suggestion box and it will get to Sorry to be short with you, I haven't slept much Oh, yeah. No, please, by all means, make any suggestions y'all want. I'm an aspiring Bugsnax breeder. And we will be excited to see what comes of it, what we can do, anything like that. Too keen on going to town. Also, don't forget to I'm share with friends, family, here. stuff like that. I get back to my Anyone barn. who you think would Trouble be interested in just some of my having something playing in the background as white noise, I'm not going back till they're interact. all home. If you want to help me, everyone. and I got a friend to yeah. introduce After you to. After all, we do make an effort to make an engaging and entertaining experience for everyone to listen to. See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. 
I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. Uh, then I'll be home. We were in the awesome. middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. Such an adorable little shit. <laughs> he is super cute. Even though you do have to wonder what's wrong with Sprout, that he just kind of goes along with it. He's just a little bit special. He's missing a few commas. He did the Nino bit the dog. Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout that. loves adventure. Always got along well with Lizbert, too. Anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please also, find them. We Those are cuties must be so scared without trying me. Trying to set up a way for this to be a actual at home job. So, got anything you want to donate? Feel free. Yeah, if if anyone's feeling generous out there, we do have the cash tag set up for anyone watching, which would be deeply appreciated. And also, since we are on the path to the next goals of Twitch, I mean, if anyone feels like coming in, having a chat in the, in the chat room, by all means, I got things to say. We can talk. as to what people like as we go through the game what fun stuff people like what their favorites I mean there's only one way to find out isn't there I could totally see your sister being a uh, snackery <laughs> snackery yeah mm -hmm. I guess that would make sense No, I don't remember what fruit she likes, if any, but I feel like she's gonna look she's gonna want one of the fruit snakes. Green crackle. I am skeptical about that. I don't think she likes Granny Smith. Hmm? Hatred on the granny. Damn. I'm just saying. I don't think I don't think that's in the top of her list. Fair enough. Or granny. Asby, you are not the center of attention right now, okay? Come on, Shabby. Bro, get in there. Comfy Pearl? Hmm? Let's have a look at the audio and just see. Make sure it's not the voices specifically, because the voices, some of them kind of kind of ring out, you know? Well, some of them are a little strange. <laughs> like Wiggle specifically. Yeah. First time chat from Gas the I'm not even gonna You got this. Okay. No, I'm not even gonna try with that word and also those links do not inspire confidence. Okay, I'm just not gonna pay that any money. Spooked 
liked them real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two quibbles missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. <laughs> Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate, and those quibbles will follow him till the end of time. We do what we do, we do what we can. Daisy, no. Carl. Carl, relax. Sorry for barking in the background. We do have a dog. The other noise that they might cause. Excited that she got to be. Oh, hey, Pixie. I didn't get an alert tone that time. That's a little concerning. Thank you for bringing three people in. I appreciate you. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome to the snack party. You're dealing with cute little food critters. Hi, Tim. What happened to your coat? Why do you look smoother than normal? Did you get brushed? He might have. Are you a brushed dog? Come back here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Greens. Welcome in. Oh, shit. Green. Freaking bringing in the party of 26 people. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see people in. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome to the show. I'm aware that Green was streaming Warframe just a minute ago, and I and I know that this is a big different show from what from that. So, you know, welcome to the tonal shift. Hope you all have fun. I snackery, please I mean, get out of my way. You do occasionally stream Warframe, so yeah, but I'm not doing that right now. Yeah, that is true. And these guys are coming straight off Warframe into this. Yeah. But yeah, so welcome to my side of the t welcome to my side of the universe, and welcome to Bug Snack specifically. Hope you all have fun. I hadn't mentioned that, but I could. <laughs> Appreciate you, Green. Still almighty, welcome to welcome to you. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Perfect timing. Couldn't have asked for better. Oh hey Flutie, welcome in. Welcome in. Oh yeah, Bug Snacks is adorable. Um until things happen, and then it's less adorable. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that right now. Not until it happens. Would love to hear your guys' favorites on what, you know, you see so far. We do have strawberries and a whole bunch of other stuff. But, you know, anyone who knows anything about bug snacks, like, feel free to talk about it. Like, you know, obviously, spoiler warning for anything someone might bring up. But beyond that, you know, whatever. This is effectively y'all chat room. I'm just the one hosting it. Alrighty, so almighty. Well, thank you for coming in anyway. I appreciate you being here, even if just for a moment. <laughs> and Green, I'm I you surprise me every time we talk. I wasn't sure if you even knew about Bug Snacks' existence, but also I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This game does seem like it'd be right up your alley. Yeah. Get him. Don't you ever leave me again. Oh, they're so cute. I, I genuinely feel bad for Gramble because he's just trying to chill. He's trying to fix you 
this, and then we find out the whole story. He's trying to chill and have a and have a family with his pets, and he can't do it. Here goes. Poor man, I'm sure was neglected by his own parents. It's okay, buddy. Come on, just let it out. There you go. You're okay. Ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. You to take Sprout with you. I get some amber He's dog. wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding Little him back. Throwing a fit. He doesn't. He wants Sprout. attention. He doesn't Papa's get it. got a There's job a to do. All your friends are going to a new. Yeah, home. that's Merlin. You're going with this nice grumpus. At least, here. at least Timmy is well behaved. Isn't that right, Tim? I'll miss you. Yeah, Even though you're the loudest dog you. in the house. So he just wants to like. You can come see Papa anytime. Merlin is just. <laughs> Why do you Mer Merlin? Sprout? Why do you? Or else. Oh. Bramble, you are the shortest character in the whole game. You're not as threatening as you think. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but like, is he I... the yes, he is the shortest Grumpus in the whole game. <laughs> not to mention he's dating the tallest one. Angela, <laughs> can I help you? Adjusts and kind of hurts himself. Stuff where you see him wincing or just <laughs> doing. Hey, Necro. Yeah, no, 22. I know, the sheer unbridled joy of my heart. I look over and just see that number. And, I mean, I have nothing but my friends to thank for it for coming in with a big ass raid. Which, if I'm completely honest, feels undeserved. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Instead, we're going to talk about this financial in my back pocket. I remember a lot of spider-themed foods. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a good bit. But yeah, like I said, if you see him adjusting and stuff like that, or you see him wincing because he did something stupid, he did just recently break his leg, so he is still recovering from that. Yeah, something that I don't remember if I brought up in the last stream, I'm kind of dealing with a broken foot right now. So I'm kind of very immobile. I'm kind of spending majority of my day at my desk, even if I don't really want to. Pardon me. Getting a headache. Thank you, Flutie. You know, that, that feels really good. I appreciate you. Like, I would I would hope that it's deserved, but it's not my place to say. I will leave that with y'all. Bless you. Oh. That was the dog. I just heard a noise behind me. <laughs> it's better. Oh. It's got a slice of pizza in front of me going <laughs> cold. Alright, okay, I got a job to do here before I go visit Bethica, but, you know, I hope y'all are enjoying the game, and I hope my commentary adds at least a little something. Feel free to bring up any topic, Hello, something you want to hear his opinion on. To wiggle, wiggle okay. We go take out the little runs. You. Oh, autograph ticket, let's go. Don't anyway, she's going to step outside for a minute, because... <laughs> The dogs need to be black. Yeah. So, yeah, while I am currently disabled against my will, she is taking care of the dogs. <gasps> you want me to come back to town? Dog, I will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. Really? And by muse, I mean bug snacks. Change okay. starts from the outside in, dog. If yes, I want new ideas, I need a new look. How about a wild new hand? Get me a pine Angela. Let's see what he can do. Well, I mean, lucky for you, I already have a pine Angela. I definitely didn't remember that that's exactly what you were going to ask me for. Pine Angela. That's struck a chord. With a new head, I can think new thoughts. That's the magic of Carl, love. relax, please. Now my creative juices can flow. Yeah. Earl is basically the security dog of the house. Anything even interacts with the door. Anything so much as taps the door. So I'll sound the alarms. Because it's Earl. This flow is 
more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler I to catch. But also, yeah, Flutie, this game is no, no, this game is great. It's awesome. I love it. But yeah, no, like. There's a reason why I played it through the first time, and my first thought was, huh, I should, I should do, I should start a stream, and I should replay it and see, what, and call it good. Reap Skeeto, you say. Okay, so it seems to appear at night, but not when it's raining. Okay, well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, make my life a little easier. But no, I fully encourage anyone who's even remotely interested to play this game, because it's just, that's so good. Let's just have a nap, just... Ah! Snacks! Tropical bug. Easily one of the most tedious bugs to catch. Had a good drink there, buddy. I almost forgot how horrible it is to watch them just and slurp that whole thing up. There you go. Not quite. Mm -hmm. They gonna flow. Ooh, any second now. Come on now. Uh, I assure you. Look, uh, Wiggle. Oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Not with that attitude. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops. A look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted. If you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. Uh, soon enough, not right away. Uh, look, Wiggle, I say this out of a place of affection and care. You're not going to find the inspiration you're so hungrily looking for in substances of any kind, let alone sentient food. Okay? This goes for all of you as well. You're not going to find the solution to your problems. And in drinks, drugs, food, anything like that. I say, I say that from a place of experience as well. Oh, dark days. It's fine. It's fine now. Not then. Hi, how y'all doing? Is going on here. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? <laughs> anyway, hi, Wamus. Let's have a talk. Yeah. An interview. All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. Let's get this going then. <laughs> so, who are you, sir? Wamus Troubleham, farmer. Let's hold then. And why'd you come here? To start a farm. And you couldn't do this back home? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. I, I have. They suck. Beyond that. 
So, what do you think about Bug Snacks then? Uh, what do I think about Bug Snacks? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. Mm, what's confusing about them? Well, they ain't animals and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw or they turn to mush. I call that confusing. Yeah, that last one is confusing and concerning, gotta be honest. Now, um, why'd you leave town then? Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. Uh, what happened with Gramble? That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. I see. So Philbo had mentioned you have a wife. Where did uh, where did she go? Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. It's none of my dang business. Is that so? What happened with Triffany? <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. It doesn't take much to knock them all down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've all been there. Pretty tragic. Uh, you know anything about Lisbert, then? Uh, respectable type, Lisbert. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Mm, who's this Dr. Batternugget? Oh, that's the town doctor. His names are no, cute and ridiculous. Liz's partner? I see. And what happened to Lizbert? I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. Well, I suppose that's all. Thank you for taking the time. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, huh. back to work. 99 then. So he gave you some notes on a strange device to say. What you got there? Attached to ancient mechanisms, look like it might take at least three Grumpus to activate. Whatever that's about. Well, I hope everyone out there is having a good show. I hope everyone's having a good time as well. Sort of simple life, just uh, just relax, yeah. So who are you? Uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. And why'd you come here? I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. Interesting. You don't have a family here? I did, but then they. Uh, talk about something else mm, sure what do you think about bug snacks well they're just the cutest little things aren't they I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them yeah googly is definitely one way to describe what's describe what we're looking at but everybody does eat bug snacks uh they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Was it? 
girl wins the game. So, uh, why'd you take off that? Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. It untreated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. Well, you want to make a showcase or anything? What happened with Wambus? Everyone say, say hello to Wednesday. Oh, when she's not ripping my boob out. Say hello to the big girl. Ow, 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 claws. <laughs> say hello to the big girl. You did that on purpose. Big and fat. And big, heavy old lady. Yeah. Are your bug snacks safe from Wiggle then? Maybe. Wiggle's a lot, but she's got a good heart. She really likes me. She'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Lisbeth, she'd bring me lots of new you friends to take care of. Well, sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one, and I'd have to say goodbye. And what would she do with them? I like to think they're all like Sprout. Helping out like little sidekicks, but sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabel. Can we talk about something else? So, what happened to her? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? Ramble, I love you, but you're a coward. <laughs> Alright, we're done. You can go ahead and relax. <sighs> I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lisbeth dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. So out of all the bug snacks, stuff like that, which one would be, like, if it got mutated, which one would be the worst to fight against if it was, like, Godzilla levels? To fight against? Yeah. Not any of the, like, not Mothos Supreme, but, like, the smaller bug snacks that you The non-legendary ones? Yeah. Um... I think it's Scorpion, yeah. Scorpion in the app, yeah. I will burn your city. I mean, it's a jalapeno pepper that shoots fire, so yeah. Yeah. Anyway, You're really so good. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. What's that? Nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. Maybe. So how'd you come by that theory, though? Well, Half of them look like to. fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before. Fresh and gooey-like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. Root and a fruit. Easy enough. So I gotta go get my hands on, the, on them. Split. Sweet black. Yeah. So cute. Anyway, what's up with you? What do you need? Now that Bilbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. I can see. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. Bonga, bonga, bonga. So we've got, I know we got Frider, Bunger, Shishkabug, Sweetie Pie. Which means. Huh? Hey. Weenie Worm. Fucking Weenie Worm. It's so cute. I like the Weenie Worm with the toppings on it. Giant Weenie Worm? Yeah. 
Otherwise known as Vengeful Weenie Worm. Yeah. It is angry. Weenie Worm. White Stripe is so cute. I think it's my favorite. Mm. One of my favorites. Gotcha. Ow. Ow, why? everything. I knew I picked the right grumpus. So, currently, how's I'm everyone lost. in chat doing? How's your day After still? All, I've read all I hope the everyone's alright. Even if I don't believe in the grumpa cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Bethica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. So of course, because I'm for some reason this whole island's grosser. There you go. Just for that, you get a weenie hand. Good answer. You really get weenie it. hand. I know you're just doing this stuff I mean, for me because you want me to. Pretty sure that's the most meat she's ever got. I don't mind. <laughs> if you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. I'm gonna go sleuthing for no right reason. Oh wow! How the ship? Huh? You know, it it looks just a little bit um exploded, but I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. That's oh, it's actually yours? mine. Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. Is just debating on taking that over? No. I was more like indirectly asking for permission for future reference. How's it going? Yeah. Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted, but I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Trippy, I miss you so much. There's nothing wrong with the man missing his wife. Hmm? But nothing it would only with hurt me further. Yeah. I mean, maybe this isn't the best solution, but... Yeah, dressing up a cactus is probably not that great of an idea, but you know. Everyone's trouble-solving for so creative. <laughs> Everyone's so creative. <laughs> OMG, Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10 perf dirt. Uh, snacks Don't for ever say those words to me again. Sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town. Best also, yes, 
Say hello, everyone. This is Bethika, and her problem is that she's a gossip girl. Her problem is she doesn't know what to say out of people's shit. Hmm. <laughs> right, I need to get a brutal. You just have to know that the people who did the voice acting for this game had the most fun. Oh, yeah. No shot, they didn't. Goofy faces and just making fun of, like, characters and stuff. Like, th this is 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, like, I get that this isn't that kind of game, but I'm also a little mad that I can't combat slide. <laughs> So, what you got, Grandma? Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. Maybe a half dozen or so. Okay, can can work that out. I may or may not already be a, a decent way into this task, but you know, we'll get there when we can. You'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. Hello. So, who are you? I'm Befika Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. Noticed. Yeah, but what do you do professionally? <laughs> Let's just say... I'm an information specialist. Otherwise known as Gossip Girl. So, welcome to Snack Tooth, then. I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact. No. Did you know that no international laws apply out here? Huh? No one knows you. Hmm. It feels like a bad one. So, um, question. Is that fun fact unrelated? <laughs> I'm just saying. If you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble, and all your friends turned against you... This would be a great place to hide out forever. Anyway, so what are your thoughts on bug snacks then? Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Right, so, uh, why'd you leave then? Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama! Right, so we have too many Gemini's around here, and I'm done there getting caught up in social dumpster fires. There are some games you would like to see come out in terms of topics that you think are underrated or not given enough attention. Games that you think could use improvement. I could do that, but also it's like... I don't think... Come back.
So, I take it that's why you were living in a cave? Uh, hey, my cave was sweet. Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. But what specifically made you want to leave them? Cromdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then, he tried to sell me her projector. So, I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. Hmm, fair enough. So, uh, what do you know about Lizbert then? What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Please answer the question. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Alright, all right then. So what was her weakness? Egabel. Hello. Go to the end of the world and back. I will gladly jump on that in just a moment. I've learned anything in life. It's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Huh? Liz and Agabel got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? Well, we can all hope. That's everything. Thank you. No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. Take more It's the key to Liz's yeah. cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. We will go explore that in just a minute. Let's see. As far as seeing games improved, that's I I have a I have a bucket list. I got a list. I got a lot of things that I would like to see improved. Now, as far as topics, see games diving into. I mean, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I got some ideas for good things. Like, I know that personally the community for this game and myself included are all hoping for a sequel. Like, that's sure to be a treat. If if they if they figure out how to implement that, because it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully. Hopefully. You're really doing it. You're bringing everybody back. You even got Bethica here. Now, in terms of game She's being awful. improved, I think there's a lot of really old games do? that they could stand for a remaster to bring back. Like, they'd be a lot of fun. Like, um, personal one I was thinking about a few days ago was a pure ATV racing that I used to play on the 360 endlessly when I was younger. I missed that game. I hope I still have a copy. I'll put away my stuff. If I can figure out how to set that up and get a capture card, then hey, y'all are in for a treat. Bestie, good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it's, it's bug infused. So it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two. Out of ten. So mean for no reason. Hope you're uh, having a good time, buddy. You should go and mingle with your new friends. Yeah, I intend to. You just you just keep swinging your strawberries there. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? Mm -hmm. How's my little sprout doing? Mm -hmm. He miss his papa. Oh, I mean, you of know course what I mean. he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Granville, welcome back. How's the barn? 
Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's how we do this here, apparently. Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. <laughs> uh, come on, everybody. It's a party. Drink, mingle. Wow. I mean, say what you will, you know, just, just flat out, just we are not friends. <laughs> what? Whatever. Wambus, Gremble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love. That's why your wife left you. I'm gonna Oops. do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here. And don't act like you're in charge. If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here. Don't you mean Trippany would still be here? Fine. All y'all gang up on me. It don't make me wrong. You all want to trip me back so bad? Go find her yourself. A lot of high emotions in this town. A lot of high emotions. I mean, what can you do, right? Good, well, buddy. That wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Look, everyone needs oh, hey, therapy. I just That's kind of the long and short of it. I haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. I... I'm not sure Come I want to do that. Come on, just try it. You gotta be curious, right? It, my journalistic integrity forbids me. Huh? <laughs> I am... Can you write about bug snacks without first hand experience? Quite easily, actually. Alright, fine, you twist That's my damn arm, let's go. Ow. Ow. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Uh, right. it's it's fine. fine. Just leave me be, please. Right. I'll get out of your hair. Yeah, no, please let me turn myself inside out in peace. Evening. Hello. Thank you kindly. I'll get those bug snacks growing. You'll see. Get along now. Well, I have somewhere to be. Y'all have a good time. I'm going this way. Hmm. So everyone out there still having a good time? It's it's gonna be roughly about that time. Anyone have like late lunch, early dinner plans? Later dinner plans, maybe? Come on, I'm sure someone's got something. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, yeah? 
I will do my best. Um, uh, what's 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 the place I'm thinking of? What's the state? You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that does sound good. Steak and baked potatoes, that sounds like fucking hole. great. But I could so use a trip to the one. old research mm. tent once White I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's like fossilized in their thin. stomachs. Looks a yeah. bit like a local bug thin. snack. There's something wrong with I'll you. need some live mm. ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Yes. Ribble peeds, everyone's favorite. Hmm. Who I've met who's had thin gravy are usually like chuckles preparing their war cry. I'm going to commit various war crimes. I, I like that. I like that hey, ribble feed. Sounds like it's choking on itself. Is there some reason we're doing the fucking wacky, wavy, inflatable alarm play like two man bit right now? Look at this. What are we even doing? Hello, friend. Welcome. Come on over. Take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> I'm already disappointed, Danny. There we go. The one and only salesman in paradise. Friend, I have something? I got a bridge to sell you. Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood, new construction, eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge. All yours for just 100 bunk snacks. What do you say? I'm a little short on that right now. Can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you. Cheap is free. Follow me, pal. You got me curious, then. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock him into shape? Yeah, I don't see why not. Off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, feel that hot, sweaty breeze. Yep, now it's time to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Hey, hey, you could pay me three of those cheap. They think they're so great. Fly it around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth. I, I, I guess. Sure. I will come back for you. I am currently in the middle of something else for someone I have actual respect for. <laughs> Jump 
ribs. And I know there's one more somewhere. You got me thinking about food, baby. You're having a tantrum, jeez. fellas eat then well like grandma always said if you want answers dig through their sock drawer i want to get into that dwelling over there but the door's blocked up if you could do something to get that door open that'd be real swell <laughs> Is a matzo. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're too kind. Meet me inside. Well, let's go have a look then. snacks in this world that's a um, good question i feel like it would be regional depending on the current cuisine because if you know about um the law of imitation in nature there's two maybe three reasons why check it out these murals are still preserved as far as i know we were the first grumps to settle this island but here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Uh, like... Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? No, hmm. nothing really does. What's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Talk to you later. Yep, yep. There we go. But, I mean, there's a rule about uh, imitation in nature. Anything that imitates food is doing it typically to attract whatever it is they're hunting. And, I mean... The whole reasoning I heard about that was because of things, um, because of the Pokemon that imitate food. I mean, if there's Pokemon that imitate food, they're doing it for a reason. And I can't think of any of very many benign reasons.
Come here, buddy. Just let them beat the shit out of each other. They're so cute. Those snacks were in there. Did you find anything else in the chamber? Got a lot of corpses. Mm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm. Well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. Your husband. If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C and M, but it's just easier to uh, stay out here with the bones. And you do have a research tent. Would not make things easier. You got a point there. If I happen to see Wambus while I'm working, maybe we can catch up. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. Johnson's cheap, it was figure something out. We'll figure it out. Okay then. clip of that on the internet i hope you i hope you know that and it's going on tiktok <laughs> your girlfriend my cousin <laughs> Your nipples on the internet now. Someone have to clip it. I'm sure he can clip it later. Just send it to you. Do you want me to send it to you? That is true. Except for everyone in this house. So, her full legal name. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, yeah, it's chocolate covered jalapeno. That sounds interesting. You know, people say sweet and spicy. They don't typically mean like that, but I mean, I'll try almost anything at least once. Uh, Sir Curry's fire dark chocolate. Uh, to my uh, to my memory, I've never had curry, so. Some things just weren't meant to be, right? Maybe one of these days, but not today. It was a damn cheap move. Hi, Bunger. So, Vida, what sounds more delicious? Regular Bunger, Barbecue Bunger, or Bunger Royal? Big ass Bunger Royal. Like the size of my car. Yeah. I mean, that's good eating. I mean, it also comes with tater tots, so. being so difficult this time. What have I done this time? You would take the fucking burger side. Cute, so tasty.
That's what happens when you're a professional. <laughs> right. Just snatch that shit right out of the air. to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big popsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find popsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> Spawn again, son of a bitch. You know what? I will come back for it. It's not important right this minute. You need to go this way, though. <laughs> Upcoming games? Well, I know I haven't played much of it on stream for a good long time, but I'm excited for. Monster Hunter 6 coming up. That's going to be a treat if I can afford it, which working on fixing that. You're back. Oh, Beyond to that, I'm also excited for Space Marine 2, which I believe is coming out uh, not too long yeah. away. That's going to be a treat. Gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trippy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't going to give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Maybe even lend a helping paw. You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Trippy. What's that now? Nothing. Well, there you go. Problem effectively solved right there. Doing good? I'm trying, I guess. Oh, sure. Sounds like a real hoot. Well, I hope everyone around is enjoying the game so far. It's a, it's, a, it's a lovely experience. Once you actually get into it, you get to just enjoy seeing a bunch of cute creatures everywhere. You know? As far as stuff outside the game, I really just don't have too terribly much to say, and I'm sorry for that. It's usually not so dramatic. Maybe soon enough. Maybe just something will come up. Just a coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Name? Oh goodness, my name! I'm Trippany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. <laughs> you might have heard of Veronica Lottablog. An adventure in type just like Lisbert. 
She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. All right, just uh, one. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Bramble's throat. Oh, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabel. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so, but the Ladablog method can be unconventional bug the heck out of Agabel. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... Betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. Sorry for the delay. I had a quick phone call I had to answer. Uh, in response to the question, she might... She might stream whenever she wants to, whatever. I mean, I do have a number of uh, games in my library that I'm sure she would enjoy playing. As for as far as on-stream going, I have some ideas. It remains to be seen. It remains to be Buddy, seen. I got something to show you. <laughs> Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we'd just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> 
And what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. Go ahead and check. I mean, say what you will about this man. He's clearly very excited, and you just gotta have some respect for it. Like, he's doing Dear his best. Buddy, it's you. Thanks for walking me back home, and also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg for a while, you might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO, Mayor Philbo Fiddlepie. Well, what do you think? Great question, buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way! I was thinking you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut. I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with open plan. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're going to finish it someday. So keep Hi, checking Daisy. your mail, do some redecorating, and before you? you know it, this will feel like home. Hey, Daisy. There's a dog next to me. Hey, baby. You smell like a dog that needs a bath. That's what you smell like. Yeah. Now, if y'all would be so kind, just, just give me a moment. I need to stand up and I need to go do something. And I will be back momentarily. Until then. Just enjoy the ambient music. It's really nice. Oh, lordy.
Hello, hello, we're back. Had to go top up my water and have a short conversation, but uh, the show goes on. Hello. Okay, now what tasks do we have? I'm sure we got something. All right, pop ticks. So yes, I did skip over to quite a couple of those, but um, we will get there as we get there, yeah. I mean, if y'all would rather I read things off, by all means, say say so. I will. I am here to be your performance monkey. I'll do whatever you ask. Just say so. Ask within reason. I'm not gonna lie, pop take sounds delicious right now. Some nice popcorn. Popcorn with a chocolate drizzle. Dessert popcorn. This sounds good. I love that there's just basalt everywhere so good is it i need to look up some science information later and see why basalt grows in hexagons because i know this is a thing i know this to be true feed me that pop tick darling pop -tick. oh wow. pop -tick. that doesn't look great those are either fuzzy leg warmers or Calf tumors. I Ugh. look ridiculous, and I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe... Oh, not nearly enough. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. I gotta tell you, I don't think they care. Full honesty. But you do you, yeah?
Never mind. Yeah. That boy's caught me a Mississippi Queen. Let's go. Snackily. Buddy, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. All right. Just with chores and stuff, but you know, uh, personal issues. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know. It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. I try. What's up, guys? Free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry, I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. Uh, of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. Oh, they'll be fine. And you will it's be fine. only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. <laughs> Don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Uh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. Bruh. I am no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. Let's get this going then. So, uh, who are you then? You've you certainly heard my number one single, a Do the Wiggle. Yeah, I had that stuck in my head for about a month. You see, Wiggle Wiggle Bottom needs no introduction, darling. And why'd you come here then? Well, I here to gorge myself on a new life experience to get my creative juices flowing as it were so your juices ain't flowing right now oh well you know no hit can stay on top forever and i'm afraid the audience didn't care for wiggles world or wiggle baby one more time and I've been accused of being a one-hit wiggle. So what do you think about bug snacks then? Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. 
bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. And what price is that? Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. So why'd you leave then? That's simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. Are you using him for food? No! Goodness no! I love Gramble. I would never. He's far too sweet. Like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. So, what do you know about Lisbert, then? Ah, Lisbert! She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. First? They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Girl, relax. Not nearly as often as I'd like. <gasps> that night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched. But I swear on my platinum record, it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. Till next time. If you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. It seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something, oh, spectacular. I overheard Wambus talking about a sandopede, a snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. <laughs> Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. So what you think? I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. 
None but me, that is. I, uh, I, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from I love the how body? she's just swinging around a dead Ooh, person's arm. Not a suck. Yeah, no, it's, it's just, just a just perfect little addition to the accessory kit. Why not? Hell. It's that thing I said. If I ever become a teacher, I want to do that. Just get a replica of human arm bones. And just had a rash of vanishing corpses. Just standing in front of the whiteboard with human arm bones. Even if they buried him in the sand, the body wouldn't be there. All right, what subject do you think that would be best for? Oh, some of the time. I mean, obvious answer is obvious. Human just anatomy course. Forensic science. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. <laughs> Within the first little bit, just bonus points for whoever can name all the bones in this oh, assembly. You're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. Tell me what's missing. <laughs> just have like one of them missing. Be like the end of the pinky bone or something. No, 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 more discreet. One of the even smaller bones. Like part of the wrist? Yeah. Why not? I'm just waiting for something. I know it's coming. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing <laughs> stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. I just we absolutely love the whisk the living. pure Wisconsin energy. Obviously, we're not the first grumpuses to make can't beat it. To. Can't beat Wisconsin. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills grumpuses out there. And it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Lufty eats Grumpus. <laughs> no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And yeah, about they watched, that. They held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah, the Grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> I guess I don't really have a chance, uh, choice, do I? Oh, Slurpy. Oh. You good, buddy? Hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked. And I came here to calm down. Huh? I. I I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. If you're out here, then who the fuck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Digestion for a ghost. I mean, no one says ghosts can't get explosive diarrhea. Stay right here. Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. <laughs> it's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she got 
gobbles us up? That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe <laughs> what you will, Wambus. Wiggle, did you set up a whole ass speaker system or something? Like, what the hell? What is this? Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is lurking out there. And it's only a matter of time. Prophecies before it comes. Uh huh. Like, your soul goes into one of the bodies. And you are now that Rumpus. Who would it be? Definitely Rambus. Snacks, it's coming for us. Surely ass farmer. No need to freak out. It's probably just a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong. Sacrifice Bilbo first. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna object to that idea. Who the hell are you? Hey, what's up, buddy? And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah? Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. <laughs> I know Easily this. the best grump. <laughs> I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh... The, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But but I do want you to stay. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Okay, bye, Chandler. Let's get back and tell the others. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing dangerous. It's nothing that's gonna suck your bones out of your ass yet. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um. Oh, and the, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. Listen. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. That does Every sound interesting. Year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hi. Hello, Tiffany. Nice to see ya. Well, we're going straight up here. We got adventures to undergo. Cookie, <laughs> sin a snail. So Vida, since you know what's up, first course, second course, dessert. One snack each. Go. First course. Yeah. Spaghetti. 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 Second course. 
from a new firm. Okay. Sir, Snorpy? Snorpy! Snackery? Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandler. I am not coming outside. It's a freeze. I'm this close it's to finishing freeze. my next it's invention. Battery, yeah. Return to your it's lifting. Alcohol freeze. Yeah. Snorpy, we no, talked about this, not. bro. Yeah. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Because what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpernati. Who? Who? Oh. There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you. <laughs> you get him. No, what? You cannot lift my entire house. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes, I can. I'm going to lift your crib, dog. Do not lift <laughs> my crib, Chandler. I have delicate instruments in here and lift in your crib, dog. There, I'm out in the fresh air. I can smell the chemtrails. <laughs> <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. Cool. Why not? That clip is going on TikTok. Huh. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funk Bun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Yeah, sure, why not? Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> hey, why not? Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. <laughs> but I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Alright, I'm all down for that. Nice, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. Alright, follow me. Quick thing. Gotcha. We out. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but Snorfy made that grapple thing for me, and I want to see it in action. Is that right? thing is awesome yeah it's pretty sick you can grab all kinds of stuff snorpy's a genius bro you got Check that right. out there's a cine snail right over there i know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of cars but it's actually a master climber even i can't keep up with it i always wanted to climb like that hey and 
Let's see if you can catch me that sin snail, bro. See, this 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 is already a little. <laughs> So that was a trip shot for anyone curious. I always wanted to climb like that. Hey. Bubble. Hi. Yeah. There you go. Nice and sticky. Maybe now you can climb a little yeah. better. I feel stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. You made it! You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough. Girl, you okay over there? Limits. You're trying to get There's cozy. There's gotta be more sinus snails oh. around this mountain, dog. <laughs> Let's see. Two more sinus snails. You got it. Let's see what we got. Hmm, so anyone out there have a favorite have a favorite snack so far? I got mine. Check my gains. But before that, I got a situation. Honey bees flew off with my backup balls. Now my balls are up in the sky. No matter how shredded I get, I can't fly. Believe me, I've tried. You gotta be my wings, dog. Master that grabber. Catch me those honey bees. <laughs>
good, bro. <laughs> It is cute. I am curious why they get pissed off when you come from peanut butter, though. Like, they get so mad. To be fair, honey and peanut butter is the best combination. Honey and chocolate is. Says who? Honey and peanut butter is great. I like honey and chocolate better. Mm. I'm going to start a war and say chocolate, strawberries, and honey are the best combination. Fuck what anyone else needs. Unless it's caramel and honey. I think that's the power. Bro. You really did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. <laughs> Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandlo everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, yeah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? I, I guess. Splendid! There is another device you will need. I do think I've these two are inside super cute. The oh tower. yeah, they're great. Once you have it, I will tell you more. <laughs> Ugh, one of those ah, ah. bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Clever. All right. Turn to me for the next phase of the plan. Involved catching a charm. Huh? All right, return to me for the next phase of the plan. Ah, I'm on fire. That's what happened. I'm on fire. Also, that saw is very rusty. For the love of God, take care of your tools. Jesus Christ. Ah, chum, I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be cookies, so that I may taste my own what? teeth, you see. That's one way to look at the issue, yeah, sure. Why not? Sorry, is there some reason that went so off kilter? Fly in the way or something? The resulting counter signal will make my location untraceable. Is that right? You know, whatever makes you happy, bro. Here you go. Ah. <laughs> Splendid. I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for charm mallows. Can't ever have enough charm mallows. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. 
the idea of turning my teeth into sweets. One sounds awesome for about maybe 10 minutes. And then I'd probably actually drive myself insane. Let's put some jams on! People are coming inside, so dog's gonna freak out in a moment. That could not have worked better. She said, oh, no. Do you look like it? Oh, no. Do you think you can still smell? <laughs> um. <laughs> well, there goes the hat. <laughs> With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm. The sky seems clear of danger. I suppose no. it's now or never. <laughs> Minimal. What? Specifically, Chandler. <laughs> All right, dog, let's do this. Now that he's Welcome abandoned his hat. Yeah. I've been an Who needed a I'm hat? I'm to call you a friend, but... You know, even if it's such a nice hat. Speaking of, where's my hat? It was on if the I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grub oh, out of you. Oh, what the grub? Here it oh, comes! Yep. What hard. expert hard. hugging that is. You do that hug. And a hug sounds awesome right about now. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorf Dog. No, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. D no, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait. town, bro. Chandlo. <laughs> So, spoilers, or are we not doing spoilers right now? Um, ask the chat. So, does anyone want to know secrets about these two? Secrets that I dare say aren't actually secret. Who wants the obvious tea? <laughs> yes, they are, in fact, a couple. It's awesome. Yeah, one's just really oblivious to it. For as smart as he is, he's pretty stupid. It's 
still funny. <laughs> this is like, so, um, would you like to be my boyfriend? Like, bro, we made out on a Ferris wheel. Did you think we weren't? <laughs> it's like, yeah, like, what did you think that was? Like, just, ow! Angry sandwich. I could just straight up, I could just straight up rip this Rudel up out of the ground right now. I mean, nothing's stopping you from just going. That is so true. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. What? What, catch the whole Sandipede in one go? You weren't ready for that? Well, that. There's a lot to fit in there. Um, That's what she said. But I'm also looking at something that was sent to the group chat. Which group chat? In Florida. Specifically near Fort Myers. Which group chat where? What? Family. Oh. What's in Fort Myers? Uh, someone George knows. Ah. Or at least he lives near it. I think some of those people are getting security. Good joke. Uh, that's not a joke. That is an entire serious statement. It's Florida. <laughs> it's Florida. If someone asks you for a security deposit, you're never seeing that money again, bro. Trust. That. Anyway, what is happened? Kind of true. Well, the fact is they're kind of flooded. Allah, feed me the sandalpeed, and I'm sure to have a hit. Sand up. Sand up. Uh, she getting thick on thighs. Oh, I can feel the harmony building huh? within me. It wanted sub sandipedes, which are the mid sections. Not quite there. I'm sure this seems excessive, but it's just it's the it's the creative process. It's the addict process. Come on, be honest. I wrote, do the wiggle. Out of desperation. I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days. I don't know. And I, I was playing a banjo for stuff. some reason. Ooh, I couldn't remember yeah. my own yeah, name, much less what I was gonna say. Kind of neat or like that. So in my haze, Smoke. I just made Mine it red. up on the spot. Slice, nice, two slice weeks later, that I had on a platinum record, and apparently, I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, right, I'm gonna face it. it's I'm been hungry. a hard act to follow. Same. Well, less than I'm hungry, more my sweet tooth is kicking my ass. Bro, it's been come check this ass. out. Yes, I have a Bill problem. Told me you were living here, I, know. And I thought, you know what this place needs? Walls. It's my bad for not finishing it in the first place, though. I was gonna have it ready in time for you, but then all that stuff happened. But sooner or later, Chandlo gets the job done. Enjoy your walls, dog. Bro. Ah. <laughs> hey. Hmm. Alright, so it's been about three hours, and I'm not gonna lie, my brain is fucking with me. So, because we're, I'm gonna say roughly halfway through, 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one job for Cromdo and get him back in town. And then we will. I can't use equipment in town unless I'm on a specific mission. That's... Hmm? That's... That's a pain in the ass, sure. Shit. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out this last uh, personal quest, get Cromdo back in town. And then I'm probably gonna call that good for myself for the day. And then, here in a little while, my dear darling wife was talking about putting out a stream of her own so that you lovely people get to enjoy too and she can have some time to play around on the computer. Because it is just free. Deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Oh, and so you know, Crumdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Crumdo. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, I don't want to die. All right, bye. Have fun. <laughs> what you think you're doing here? What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all your snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you going to buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Hmm. All right. Put like two ropes around your ankles next time you get up, boom, problem solved. Alrighty. And with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, which combination are you referring to? Green. <laughs> what combination of flavors? said that would be a disgusting combination of flavors so I'm trying to remember what the hell we were talking about oh he's probably referencing the honey stuff oh 
Honey peanut butter? Yeah, but see, that's terrible. It's a terrible it's fucking combination. Fine. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's fucking weird. Everyone I'm weird. Get a chocolate bar, drizzle a little bit of honey on it, maybe like some caramel. All right, you're fine. Fine. You know, like a chocolate covered strawberry, a little bit of honey and like caramel on it. That's, that's, those are good combinations. It's Who the fine. fuck goes out of their way to have peanut butter and honey? Me. You're a weirdo. Oh, peanut butter, ranch, ketchup, and the uh, chocolate syrup that he saw. All the sauces in the garden. <laughs> ah, no, yeah, that's. Oh uh, yeah, no, those things that that shit doesn't go together. But here, you want to see something really just heretical? Behold the shishka bug. Behold what's about to happen to it. When it stops being a coward. Well, there was also the insta bug. Huh? There was also the insta bug. Yeah, but that's somewhere I can't currently get to. Also, I sorry. You're a criminal. What? Peanut butter on fucking shish kebab. Oh, bye. Pop it on, uh, after you're finished, pop it on bread and I'll just do it. Get up a nopper right now. Maybe we would just take a sec. I, I know I said I was gonna cut it off, but we can just take a second and do some catching. It'll be fine. I wonder if that'll even work. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I don't know if it's hiding. I'll have to catch anything, really. So come on, Green. You gotta, you gotta have some adventure in your life. Oh, I'm sure he has plenty of adventure. I mean, he's a man who likes maple donuts. That doesn't like sit there and scream about his personality. I don't know what does. Okay, one, judgy. Two, shut the hell up. <laughs> I never said it was a bad thing. I like fucking maple donuts. Uh huh. It just means those type of people who eat maple donuts are Yeah, well, the way you said like it maple. sounded incredibly judgy. I always sound judgy. But it usually means people who sit there and go out of like their way to eat something that isn't conventional food type items, something that isn't the norm, are usually people who adventure with tastes and or just other experiences. I love you, but how do you manage to sound so judgmental all the time? Because it's just how I am. Also, apparently you have a friend in my chat. Green is just hard agreeing with you right now. Let's go! It's because it's facts. You can't deny facts. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny they're good, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I have an allergy or something. Maple donuts give me a headache. I don't think that's an allergy. Well, whatever it is, it's not. Fuck off, game. <laughs> how can how can you be stunned and still stuck to the ceiling? Make it make sense. Let's see. Sounded hard. I'm sneezing. Never okay. My body said you're going to die right now. Here's a sneeze thing. Uh, 
bungle, bungle, bungle. My mom just sent me a link to something, and now I'm... Moderately concerned. I have an offer. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, Cobb Hopper. Cobb Hopper. Cobb Hopper. Hmm. Hey, baby, you want some corn? No? Popcorn? My little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. It's worth a try. All right. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and step away for a minute, just because I'm starting to come down with a headache. And so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, cut off the stream, and take a couple minutes break, and then my dear darling wife uh, is gonna come back and entertain you, lovely darling people. Until then, hope you all have fun. I will see you next time. Chandlow, how's it going? <laughs>